guys, I am really excited to be unboxing the Moon Deck today. I've heard fantastic things about this deck from Jess Carlson. I know she really digs it. And I've seen other pictures on Instagram. And every time I look, I'm thinking, wow, that's a really cool deck. What is that? Oh, that's the Moon Deck. So I finally broke down an order for it. Here it is. Ooh, double bagged. Suspense. Back to the knife. And being careful because I don't wanna I don't wanna hurt any of the contents. So ooh. ooh. Oh wow. So there's this awesome wooden box and the moon deck, an intuitive oracle set to stoke the powers of intention and ritual. And this is a set of 44 cards and guidebook carrying potent mantras, illustrations, and rituals. Housed in a handcrafted wood box, this interactive tool is inspired by the cyclical beauty of the moon and shares insights on growth, purpose, intuition, practice, and creativity. It can be worked with in a similar format to tarot, as an oracle guide, or as a daily tool for reflection and meditation. So, you're carefully sliding the little sealer off. I really like the way that's burned. That's just really nice simple wood burned box. Um, I've been doing a little bit of wood burning myself lately so I have a newfound appreciation for the effort that takes. Oh, the Moon Deck Guidebook and written by Arona Ganesan, illustrated by Andrea K. Key? K? But it's a really, it's a good thick book. It's a really nice matte not finish and um i mean just beautiful illustration and oh very cool so for every card it looks like it's got all right table contents welcome love your cards the elements using your deck cards and rituals diy moon circle Moon Cycle Chart, in gratitude Glossary, Moon Journal. All right, so it starts off with a little welcome message. Love your cards. The more love and care you put into your moon deck, the more it will know how to love and care for you. Yes, this is so true. This is true not just for this deck, but for all decks. The better you treat it, the more you work with it, the more you're either going to vibe and get to know each other and have that good relationship or the more you'll understand hmm, this deck not for me I should swap this maybe this deck came into my house so that I could trade it for another deck that resonates with me pass this deck along to its rightful owner that is always an option so it wants me to smudge the deck which makes sense put it back in the box, gently place your hands on top, focus your love, gratitude, and any other resonant intentions into your deck. Keep it somewhere sacred that is easily accessible. That makes perfect sense. Um, talks about mantras. Oh, nice. Whether thought or spoken, there's immense power in your words. Reshaping your habits around the way you think and speak to yourself has profound results that will directly impact your potential and purpose both in your personal life and your presence in the world. Whenever you notice yourself slipping into negative thought patterns, use the Moon Deck mantra silently or vocally throughout your day as a way to instantly uplift your vibration and perspective. 
When working with the suggested rituals in the guidebook, be sure to repeat the accompanying mantra at least three times out loud and three times silently to invoke its greatest power. For the sake of simplicity, we've used the word mantra in the moon deck, yet any of the words on the following page can be used and are powerful tools when spoken with conviction and intention. So it talks, then it says, you know, mantra, affirmation, incantation, kind of very similar, um, call it whatever you want. So then it talks about rituals, how to use your deck. Are you ready to begin? Set your intention. Shuffle. Choose from a spread or make up your own. It has very cute little spreads here um, that you can't see. Um, so ritual practice, one card spread, two card spread, past, present, future, mind, heart, body, spirit, chakra spread. Um, and then it gets into cards. So each card has a little, talks about the card, and then there's the ritual. So for example, for adapt, the ritual is walking meditation. For ancestors, ritual is beacon of light contract. So very cool. Uh, oh, nice. In how to do a moon circle and back, it it's got guidance on how to call in the seven directions to open a circle, how to close the circle, different sp spirits, moon cycle chart. So this is a really thorough book. This is a lot more detailed than I expected. So this alone, awesome. Um, and now we get into the cards. And the back is really pretty and it's that similar um, artwork on the front of the box so let me get into those and oh, rip off the plastic and fling it on the ground for cats to play with all right Ooh. My instincts keep me adaptable in the face of any obstacle. I celebrate my lineage and honor my ancestors. Healthy boundaries keep me centered and balanced. The rhythm of my breath directs the rhythm of my life. I welcome clear vision and inspired action. Collaboration brings more sweetness into my life and into the world. My community is supportive, loving, and active in the world. I am courageous, steady, and strong. My emotions move through cycles and connect me to my truth. I craft my core desires with certainty and ease. My dreams reveal that magic is real and anything is possible. I am of the earth and in harmony with nature. I am ready, thank you. I love this. I want a giant poster that says that on my wall. I focus on what is working. I forgive and let go with loving ease. That's one that a lot of us can probably use some, some work on. Ooh, I am on the right path and divinely guided. I live each moment in the, a, with a presence of gratitude. I allow stillness to heal and reveal. Now is the time to integrate all I have gathered. With a steady mind, I am connected to our collective experience. Love and intimacy flow into my life effortlessly. 
my inner compass knows the way. Play is my pathway to joy. I love myself completely and unconditionally. That's another one a lot of us could probably use some work with. With focus and intention, I can shape energy in any direction. Ooh, I have two of those. Apparently this is a reminder that I need an extra one of, so I'm gonna set that one aside. I am at home in my body and at peace in my spirit. Movement awakens my creative spirit. I trust the mystery of life. Conscious eating nourishes me. I surrender to the power of prayer and devotion. I have unlimited potential and claim my purpose. All I need is within me. I shed habits that hinder my truth. I release and renew. I meet resistance with kindness. Again, not always easy to do. Proper rest helps me look and feel my best. Again, for us type A's out there who are always going, going, going. That one's a really good, good reminder. Oh, I love this one too. My home is a sacred space full of beauty, inspiration, and protection. It is safe and beautiful to express my sensuality. There is medicine in my shadow. This is a beautiful card for October when I know a lot of people, um, especially on in the Instagram community, are doing shadow work. This is a really great card and great energy for that. When I let others shine, I shine too. We are all sisters and reflect the divine in one another. I honor the natural process of growth and transformation. I trust the change unfolding in my life. Change is hard. And trusting that that change is going to end, us, end up somewhere good is really hard. So that's another really great card. I'm the weaver of my reality. I unleash my wildness and choose to be free. I free myself from critical thoughts towards my body and my worth. These are just, these are beautiful. They're very well crafted, well thought out statements. Um, the cardstock is really nice. It's a nice sort of matte finish and um, they're not huge, not tiny, but not huge. Uh, they seem a little wider than a lot of traditional cards, but not, I don't know, I could be totally making that up, but I do really like the way they feel, and I like the muted background and the soft colors there. So this is definitely a deck for self-love and self-work. I would say if you are trying to recognize certain patterns in your life and reshape or rewrite those patterns, this is probably an excellent deck to work with. And I look forward to doing that in the coming months. So thank you so much, beautiful ladies of the moon deck. This is a fantastic deck and I'm going to go smudge it right now and then put the box under my pillow because that's what I do with all my new decks. And God love my husband. He has fully accepted that if he reaches over and puts his arm on my side of the bed, he's going to come in contact with wooden boxes and cards and rocks and all kinds of other things. So beautiful, beautiful moon deck. So excited to have this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.